This sexy and beautiful woman is picking out jewelry in a jewelry store. The shopkeeper uncle was attracted by the woman's beauty. The woman was pulling her clothes just when the uncle was fascinated. The woman asked the uncle to take another necklace to try. The moment the uncle turned around, the woman took out an identical fake necklace. Theft of the necklace. Just when things were going very well, two policemen came in the door. The police came up and grilled the woman's hand and reminded the uncle to be careful of scammers. The uncle thanked him repeatedly. When the woman was handcuffed to the car. Three people in the car laughing. It turns out that the three people are a gang. They first deliberately set up a scam. When the woman was caught pretending to escape and pretend to accidentally tear the clothes. When the uncle's eyes are looking straight. The scammer's helper on the side then dropped the bag. Using a set within a set. The jewelry store uncle was stolen without knowing it. A shiny diamond necklace is easily in hand. The curly-haired man in front of you is named David. David is a real estate agent, con man. Today at the exchange, he found a new target, an old man with white hair. To create an opportunity, he deliberately bumped into the old man. Just as the old man was helping to pick up something, he used the fake information to attract the old man. Sure enough, while he was eating his noodles with great interest, the old man came to his door, booked a house. The two had agreed to pay 500 million won in cash in advance. The old man said he needed three more days. David didn't like it at all. He used his usual sales tactics. If you don't pay today, the house will belong to someone else. The old man was not fooled by David at all. Just give it to someone else. I inherited a fortune abroad. But he has a $100 million loan on his bank account. He needs to pay it off before he can make a cross-border transfer. David's heart was hard. You can't give up a child. But you can't catch a wolf. Forget it. I'll help you pay off the $100 million loan. The two of them went to the bank. The grandfather is on the phone to inform the other side to prepare for the collection. Just when the business is about to be processed, Monkler Outlet Store suddenly had a stomach upset and wanted to go to the toilet. David thought it was all left over from my game. So he said I also want to go to the toilet. Let's go together. David soon finished, but the old man squatting in the farting all the time. David could not stand the smell, so he said hello to the old man and continued to wait outside. This wait was half an hour. David realized that something was wrong. Hurry to the toilet to see. No one was there, but the toilet only one passage. How did the old man disappear into thin air? David watched the surveillance back and forth still cannot understand. The old man ripped off his face, instantly transformed into a handsome young man. He just strutted out. This handsome guy is no other than. It was the son of the Korean fraud master, Kate the son of a Korean fraudster. Although Kate is a scammer, but only he calmed the con man. The scam within a scam and the game within a game. Make the story more exciting. It turns out that in 2008, a huge fraud case occurred in Korea that shocked the whole country. The amount involved was more than 4 trillion won. More than 30,000 victims were involved. Many families were separated from their families. But the main culprit ran away with the money. He was able to get away with it. He was able to get away with it because of the lawmakers that he benefited from. The Korean government, in order to calm the people's discontent. The South Korean government, in order to appease public discontent, deliberately found some small people to take the blame and held a press conference. The main culprit was announced to the public. He died in a foreign country. Even so, there were still people who questioned that he faked his death. In order to find the source of the rumors, prosecutor Daniel, he called in three of his own liars. The same three liars who worked together in the beginning. His men soon found David, the rumor monger. David is the real estate agent liar mentioned above. It is also the original subordinate of the main criminal. But when they arrived at his house, David's house had been ransacked. After checking through the surveillance, the one who went to his house is the god of deception Kate. So Daniel used all kinds of high-tech means, successfully caught Kate back. It turns out that over the years, Kate was also looking for the main culprit, because his father was killed by him. So two people with different agendas decided to work together to plan a bigger scam. They started with David. The two men put on a show for him. They made David believe that Kate was a tycoon. So David tried to recreate the chance of a chance encounter. He thought he'd get a chance to con him into getting some real estate. But Kate said that the real estate piece is not to be done. He is now working on a big project. But now there is not enough money to find a partner. With Kate's skillful deception, David really took the bait. He begged and begged for money, but did not borrow a penny. So, he was forced to borrow money from Bob. 
the main culprit of the year. But Bob Old Crooks had become sophisticated, not so easily fooled. He didn't panic and sent an agent over. First look into the situation. David to prove his strength. He took the agent to visit his big casino. But the agent is no ordinary person. After a walk around, he said to wait a little longer. David and Daniel several people after investigation have found Bob's track. The real reason they sent the agent here. There's something else going on. This beautiful woman is scratching her head. She's planning a huge scam while the two of them are making eyes at each other. Her gang deliberately broadcast another story. Bob was seen by a witness. And sure enough, the agent rushed to contact his boss, Daniel and others. Through wiretaps, they learned that Bob was in Korea. But when they arrived, they let him get away again. Once Daniel returned, he received a call from his men. It turns out that Kate is also investigating himself. Now he seems to understand. It turns out that Kate's father was killed by his own hand. So Daniel ordered his men to kill Kate before this operation. On the other hand, Bob met with an agent. Several people went to accidentally listen to the operation before. This time Bob. The real purpose is to use David's company. 300 billion won in money laundering. So, Daniel hurriedly asked his men to cancel the operation to kill Kate. What a coincidence. This is a crucial time for the congressman's election. If we can solve the $300 billion case, Daniel will be able to hold the leg of the congressman. His career would be on the rise. It's good to think about it. When get back, he planned to keep Kate for a few days. Arrange for him to continue to work with someone. On the day of the deal, the agent brought a $30 billion check to test the waters. Asked Kate to exchange it for cash. The next day, Kate came with $30 billion in cash. The first deal went so well. The agent quickly told him where the next deal would be. By the time he arrived for the last deal, Kate's first contact with the agent, Daniel immediately changed his face. Tell his men to take them out and kill them all. And that's when he got the call from the money launderer. It turned out that the checks he took were fake. At the same time, Bob also came to trade. Several people quickly ambushed. But as soon as they came in, they were arrested. This time the plot has a big reversal. It turns out that Bob has always been Kate's fake. From the beginning, Daniel did not catch the Bob is Kate. Why would Kate do that? Because when he was in Thailand, Bob himself told him Daniel was the one who really killed his father. So he's running this scam to get rid of these corrupt congressmen and to avenge his father's death and his men. He's been working undercover for years, whether it's the agents or David. They all had loved ones who died in that scam. From imitating Bob's form and speech to forging fake checks later on, these men were seeking revenge. They planned an eight-year-long game within a game within a game. They then exposed the story in the media. The congressman confessed and the whole process of this elaborate scam. The whole process was also recorded. But the Rayal Bob is still absconding. That's the story of the Korean movie Liar. Liar was released in 2017. Took the top spot at the Korean box office. The story setting of the film within a film and the drama bureau. The audience's blood boiled with excitement.